There it is. So it's been a while. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of things that are different. Uh, big one is we got new wheels. Uh, these are 22s. Uh, I believe they're off of a newer Tahoe. I got them off the Facebook Marketplace. Um, they're not in perfect condition. Like this one's pretty good. You can't see too much going on there. Uh, also, calipers are red now because you can see them now with these wheels, so I can clean them up. But as you can see, some of them, they got a couple. I tried to get the better looking ones on the passenger side because this is the better side of the truck. The bed's nicer. Uh, there's not anything on the doors really. Um, although this is the side that right there, someone like dropped a jack or something previously. Um, roll pans painted. And then, yeah, the paint's cracking on the bed back here and then this is from me being a dum-dum um we entered this truck into a burnout competition as you can see a whole lot of fun happened there i gotta get these tires dismounted but that'll get done eventually but i still have the other two stocks um there was talks of another one possibly happening by the same group but yeah there's a little pitting but i got these wheels pretty cheap so um I'm trying to clean rubber. I don't know if you can see in there. But, uh, the side that blew up, that was on this side. Um, it was actually. Boats just came apart more than this was still holding air. I took the air out of it because it was dis just deforming, so I didn't want any issues with that. But, also went around all the handles, so. You know, driver's side, passenger side, and then the tailgate. All got the uh, chrome now. Because previously this was all black textured plastic. Got um, Dorman made where this is chrome and this is chrome. I took the handles apart and painted. Um, this one probably could use to be redone. Um, I am not a painter. It's got a little orange peel to it. Um, same with the roll pan. I painted that as well. I mean, it looks probably pretty good on camera, but you can tell in certain shades and sunlight. And then on top of that, it's got a little rust in that corner there. That roll pan ain't exactly the greatest. As far as other new stuff, um, I think I did show you guys the hood. Um, it hasn't been painted yet because, like I said, the whole truck needs paint. Um, but we did go through the you got aftermarket headlights now uh which have clear corners there to get rid of that amber try and clean up the front a little bit only downside i've had with those is that just like any aftermarket garbage um i keep having issues where the bottom on each side leak out um i've been just kind of dealing with it right now because it's not too too bad um but full LED for the front and the fog lights. All LEDs in the factory housings. Um, no issues with heat on those right now the, with what I chose. I went really crazy with looking into stuff. But however, I did keep factory and that third brake light because otherwise you have issues of uh, cruise control not working because it doesn't have the right uh, load for the circuit but I also got this bow tie which instead of it just being a bow tie that's spray painted black this actually lights up not much performance wise but still rocking the uh, factory interior pretty much I just went to clean this thing, so, and of course, and now that I'm looking, there's still some stuff that's all over the place. That's from when I had to get gas, but I'm going to turn the key here, turn this off, because that's annoyingly loud, and do all our lights, but um, it's still rocking 285,000 miles. Since it's daylight, you can't see this too much. I'll try and find a picture to drop in, but I do have, if you can even see it, whoops, I want to look too far, that's why, a drive shaft, drive shaft safety loop. Um, 
because a little worried about the drive shaft on these trucks. Um, I've seen them grenade at speeds and um, although the truck isn't fast right now, uh, for example, went and did the burnout competition. Uh, I went first, second, third. Uh, when I grabbed third, I mean, speedometer was pegged and I've seen people blow the drive shafts out of these trucks at like 110 miles an hour and Spider goes to 125, so we were definitely exceeding speeds of destruction. So we got this billet shift handle uh, from LG Billet. Uh, the I do have the tow package, and they got the little button in there, which is really nice. Uh, the uh, little tow symbol was wearing out on my other one. Put LEDs in the upper there. Um, and then I also LEDs for the door. Um, I'm not really a LED everything person. However, um, being that I work night shifts now, uh, I, it's been very nice actually. Um, and then I went through and just cleaned up some of the, like the whole front suspension. I, uh, redid a lot of the ball joints and stuff and got the arms realigned it to try and get rid of, uh, some of the camber issues going on there. If anyone is looking for uh, upper control arms for a five inch or more front drop, uh, I do have some. Uh, they added a little too much positive camber. Uh, I think I yapped long enough, master yapper over here. So hopefully you guys uh, subscribe, follow along. Content will be getting better again at some point. I've been very lackluster, but uh, anyways, here's a few clips of the burnout contest at our little block party we had, and uh, see y'all again soon sometime.
<laughs> oh yeah, he did. <laughs> Truck game for the yeah, win. Oh, he, he brought he brought spares. <laughs>